Hi, welcome to my new garage slash macro studio. And today we're doing uh, an evaluation of the Adaptalux macro lighting system. So about a year ago, I reached out to Adaptalux because I was interested in evaluating their macro lighting system. And uh, about a month, uh, ago they contacted me back and they said they would send me a kit for evaluation so i'd like to thank them for the for the trust and sending me the kit and when i um, discussed with them the contents of the kit i didn't want the standard options so i asked them to send me the latest version of the ground the pod control the control unit it's called the pod 3.0 which they did, and also to get the high intensity light arms. Um, those are more powerful than the ones are included in the kit. And they included a pair of diffusers, which I also requested to be as light as possible because I don't want to lose much light. And uh, as you will see, I was concerned about the amount of light that this system can deliver. As you know, I don't do unboxing, so I just wanted to show you the packaging and uh, congratulate the company on their really um, responsible packaging uh, policy. The kit came in this box, simple cardboard insert uh, with the arms and the pod. All this is made from recycled cardboard and is fully recyclable. A simple uh, brochure for the company and everything is online. The manual is online, it's all digital, you scan your QR code and you have access to a very nice startup guide and the manual. Uh, so it saves paper, bravo, and just a couple of small boxes too for the diffusers. And that was it, you know, minimal packaging, fantastic. Plus, even the plastic bags that came for the cables and the pod, you can, be put, you can put them in the compost box, which uh, I will do after this video. So kudos to the company for being so responsible about the environment, uh, which is a vision I totally share. I don't want to spend much time talking about the settings of the system, etc., because you can find all the information on the internet. Adaptalux got a fantastic website, lots of videos explaining the, the functioning of the system and also, um, you know, use cases. So um, briefly, this is the control pod, the unit that controls uh, the lights. There's five positions, so you can put up to five arms. Uh, different white lights, different colors. You look up the catalog on the company uh, website. They have also flash, uh, flash arms. They have UV lights. I mean, it's quite a complete system. And it can be simpler to just start the system. Just get one of these arms, put it in the pod, and it automatically turns on. You can then manually adjust the lighting using this control button. And you can also use the app, as I will show you, uh, via Bluetooth to control um, the light intensity and which arms are doing what, okay? So again, click, turn, and that's it. It's on, okay? And so the arms are flexible, of course. It's all very nicely made, nice uh, soft plastic or rubber, whatever. Nice little diffusers, which are magnetic. So they click in place. You know, it's, nice, it's a nice uh, system, nicely made, and uh, there's not much else to say about it. And so let's see how I'm setting up here for the first use case. Okay, so let me show you how I set up the system to test the Adaptalux lighting. I'm going to compare with different uh, lighting systems. The first one is the one I use in my macro studio usually. So the studio is, you know, I I'm, I'm, might be doing another video on the studio, but briefly, um, it's a very heavy uh, support with anti-vibration mat to which I affixed uh, with bolts uh, my automatic rail from Cognisys. I have the Nikon Z6 fitted with the Laowa 2.5 to 5x uh, lens, right now set up at 2.5x. The subject I choose is a small flower from the garden, you know, a very easy subject. I just want to do a quick uh, stack of about 50 shots and compare the different lighting systems. So this is not going to change, only the lighting will change. My usual lighting system is composed of a, a tunnel, a diffusion tunnel with foam here and two 
cheap lights from the hardware store. These are LED lights for the garden, so that's my baseline for comparing the lighting systems. I've just done a stack of 50 images with these. I'm going to replace the lights now with something else and then buy the Adaptalux system and we'll see the differences. I've replaced the, the arms by portable LED lights. These are Godox 64 LED panels, very compact, run on four AAs, and they give great uh, light, very soft too. I've just done another stack. Um, the flower is it's sagging a bit because it's very hot, so the framing is changed, but it's, otherwise it's the same conditions. All right, and this is the moment that you've all been waiting for. Um, I've set up the Adaptalux system here, so you can see it's much easier to install because it all fits on a small tripod. I use a gorilla pod, which is probably not the best option. It's a bit too flexible. And I've bent the arms to put light exactly on my subject. I've done two series of uh, images. Um, the first series was done with the lights in normal mode at 100% intensity and definitely uh, darker. I use the same settings as the Godox lights and definitely the Adaptalux delivers less light than the Godox. I would probably need like one or two more arms to, to be equivalent to the, to the Godox lights. I've done another stack uh, using the boost mode. I, I use the app uh, to control the, uh, the, the arms and I've got results almost similar uh, to the Godox. Uh, well, probably less light anyway, even in the boost mode. So I'm happy with the results. Um, now we're going to do a test outside. My main use probably for this would be outdoors to do stacking outdoors also to do video so we're going to move into the garden where i found a good subject to test this and we're going to do some photo and video outside using the adaptalux system so i'm in the garden now sitting on this big stump which I use to split wood or do some chopping. And uh, it's also home to a very large colony of carpenter ants. Uh, carpenter ants um, uh, made their nest inside and they have a nest entrance just uh, back here. And I want to use them to see uh, whether the light from the Adaptalux system is good enough for video and uh, whether it gives me specular lights and everything. So I've set up the system here and we're gonna do some macro videography. I've set up here uh, near the nest entrance, which is right down below. I'm going to turn the lights on uh, so you can, hopefully you can see. Okay, they're on and boost mode. Okay, so you should, you should see them on the image. Um, what I did is point the camera right at the nest entrance because I want to see the ants going in and out. I've done some photos and uh, successfully with the lights, with, but for the photo to have enough speed uh, to reach uh, one three hundredth of a second, more or less, I had to use the boost mode. So definitely these lights, I see the two arms, don't output a lot of light, uh, less than a flash, uh, less than, you know, big LED panels. So you need to use the boost mode for photography. Now, my main interest here is doing video. And I've set up the camera at a hundredth of a second because the ants are so fast, I don't want any blur due to movement. And also F22, because I need maximum depth of field in macro video. It's, uh, you know, I'm uh, at a ratio of one to 1.5, which is pretty, pretty high. And with the Irix lens, but I'm very satisfied with the light. The light is very even, very beautiful. Those ants are very shiny and I don't see a lot of specular lights. So the diffusers are doing a good job, I think. And it's convenient to set up, you know, with the arms being, you know, flexible. All right, so all done here with this second uh, setup. And now it's time to head to the mountains there for a little bit of uh, butterfly photography. Let's go. Now it's time to try the Adaptalux system in the field with live subjects. And that's what I'm doing here. Beautiful morning on the French Riviera. Uh, this is a place where I know there are sleeping butterflies in the grass. Um, it's getting a bit late now, but still the butterflies are somewhat quiet and I've got the camera set up to film this Zygena here. You may not see the sun but it's exactly 
in this direction, it backlights my butterflies, which is what I want, but then I need some fill light, uh, otherwise they will be too dark. So I've set up the, the camera on the tripod, focused everything, and now I'm gonna turn on the Adapelux. I have one light which is slightly above uh, the butterflies and the flower, and one which is slightly below, really to lift up the shadows. This area has a lot of butterflies and in particular lots of blues, the small lysinids. For example, here in front of me there are like one, two, three, four uh, perching on the grass, still very quiet. So I've set up the arms in a different way. I've set up the pod on a magic arm clamped to the leg of my tripod which gives me much more stability and actually the possibility also to extend the range of the the, the reach, sorry, of the uh, of the adapter looks because I can I can use the the magic arm to extend or you know retract uh, the 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 setup. I can change the angle, etc., and and put it exactly where I want with the magic arm. I just want a bit of field light, and I don't need a boost mode. I've set up uh, with the app the lights at almost 100% for one and 72% for the other, but it gives me just the light I want for video. I really love the setup. I think it's very convenient and it's exactly what I need to light up my, uh, my scenes and do some video. So time to go home now because it's getting uh, warm, uh, it's getting windy and the butterflies are just too skittish. So let's go home and wrap this up. Disclaimer, I'm not paid to do this review by Adaptalux. They just sent me the kit uh, for which I thank them. And I write to thank Ben in particular for answering my questions. There's really nothing negative to say about this kit. Uh, it's lightweight, uh, very easy to carry in one's bag and gives very good light, very flexible. I really like it. I wasn't sure it'd be useful for me when I received the kit, but it has been, and I can see a lot of uses for me uh, of this kit in the future. For example, I'm really looking forward to using it with my probe lens to do some more video work. And we'll see about that in an upcoming video. Uh, the only negative that I had was that I couldn't turn the kit on and off during field work, but actually Ben from Adaptalux gave me the, the solution. There's a sleep mode which you can activate with the button, so that's it. Uh, I just wish there was the feature in the app with the button to turn the lights on and off. So you really see it's not much uh, to say against the kit. The use you will have will depend on the kind of photo you do. For the studio, I'd recommend perhaps to have three or four arms to get enough light in the studio. For the field, for me, I think this is fine. Uh, maybe another arm, we'll see. But um, I'm looking forward to using this um, for more video work. So I hope you enjoyed the review. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.